Yo, what's up guys, got another great Rocket League tip for you today that'll hopefully improve your game. But before that, quick word from the sponsor of today's video. AOEA allows you to buy and sell Rocket League items at great prices. Whichever platform you're on, you can find that last item to finish off your preset. Use code VMN at checkout for a discount. And I'll leave the link to AOEA down in the description, so be sure to check that out. We gotta, we gotta be playing for like a second touch here, I think. We don't have too much boost. Yeah. So we gotta really think about like our first touch. We'll maybe go for like a flip reset here on the ball. Yeah, it's a little bit more for... mechanical. But just Would anything you have that resists you. Sorry? When you have kickoff head like that, and they bounce off the sidewall, if you can beat them to the read, is it ideally better to just always go for it? Or is it bet like, would it not be a bad play to leave it here? Because in my experience, I feel like I should try and always beat them on the sidewall bounce, but I don't know if that's good or yeah, not. Yeah, you definitely should go for the beat here, yeah. Uh, this may be like... Okay. You, can, you can do it a bit slower, because... Like, you could wait until this guy jumps and put a bit more reactionary for a 50. That's an option. Um, but I yeah. think going for the beat most of the time is going to be the best play. But when you go for this play... Like, uh... God, it was... I remember watching some... Uh, Vitality replays, right? Uh, and I remember after kickoff, like when they get a ball like this, you know, obviously the, the players of Vitality are very mechanical. But they always try it. and take, yeah, they'll always try and take like a, a touch on the on the ball that's going to allow them to like follow on the wall, right, and like take it up to the ceiling. Or they'll always go for like a flip reset and then try and get a second touch on the ball, right. It's yeah. all like it's all just about delaying your attack. Like there's a good chance you're not going to get a goal scoring opportunity here. But it's literally all just about bang time, right? Like, you need time for your teammates to come back, you need time for your other teammates to come back, and you just need to delay this out as long as possible. Because if you do, like, a singular touch here, what it does is it just opens up this whole area for your opponent, right? And both your teammates are going to feel really, like, turtled in defense. Yeah. It's actually good for, for your teammates to push up like this and try, and try and help you. A lot of players would just go back for boost. But yeah, it's just kind of like getting them all this space. And the reason they get all that space is because... I think go back. It's just like the setup that you've given them, right? Like yep. for his mechanical play, it's just really strong. We've got to kind of delay the setup, got to kind of make it as awkward for him as possible. 